Hello, good morning, welcome to Kaos Corner this Monday morning, beginning of the work week. Uh, thank you for joining me this morning. I hope uh, you guys had a awesome weekend, uh, whatever you had planned. <clears throat> I, I pray that all went well and, and you just enjoyed your weekend as we get ready for a new work week. Uh, the weather's been nice for a while now. A little windy yesterday, but you can kind of see the grass turning a little brown and some rain would be much needed, but in God's time, uh, that will be uh, welcome. So thank you again for joining me. I hope you guys were in service yesterday. Uh, and if not, online, because he was definitely blessed with uh, the continuation of our walk through Leviticus. We finished up chapter 7 of all of the different types of offerings and how it associates or pointed points to Jesus. Um, just a lot, a lot of takeaways that uh, <clears throat> that you can take away from the lesson. Uh, every Sunday has more information uh, that I myself, as I read, uh, it's just mind-blowing when the Holy Spirit just leads Kahu and he brings us the word and how all of this ties in to what's what's coming, which is the New Testament. Uh, the New Testament can't stand on the foundation of the Old Testament. So to walk through uh, a book like Leviticus where um, most people just tend to avoid because who wants to read about all that stuff, right? But when you really, really... Uh, pull back the layers and listen and understand and think about it. It does make perfect sense because God's word is truth and it always makes sense. So uh, to learn that is uh, when you go back and read it, then you can see the different layers and how it points to Jesus. So uh, I was blessed by that. And then yesterday, you know, I had a chance to do my devotion. Now, we talked about um, whatever we do, uh, whether it's business, relationships, hobbies, um, you know, whatever we, we get going on in our lives, we want to be, um, that's positive, we want to be good at it. Uh, like I said yesterday, I just don't know anybody who wants to start a hobby or start a new job and say to themselves that, hey, you know, I want to... I just want to be terrible at it, and I just want to fail at it. Um, you know, you want to start something because being successful at something uh, brings us self-satisfaction. Um, that's just the way it works. People want to succeed at stuff. They want to be good at what they do. But in the same process, the way we go about being successful or doing things we got to do it the right way. Uh, and in God's eyes is always including Him in what our plans are. I mean, He knows what we're going to do before we even do it. But He wants us to acknowledge Him, to let Him know what we want to do, uh, to trust Him, uh, find a quiet place, pray to Him, and, and just let the Holy Spirit, you know, lead you in stuff. Um, there is times where, you know, the Spirit says, hey, well, let's not go down this road right now. It's it's not ready. You're not ready for that. Or, you know, now is the time. Uh, pray about it. Feels good. Seek Him and even give you the green light. But the less we have these small conversations with God or letting him on all the little things we're doing he knows what we're doing it's just us acknowledging him and saying hey you know what do you think about this or you know struggling in this area uh, show me what to do um, and that was all what i was trying to get around yesterday with the two verses i had and we'll go back and just look at them real quick uh, proverbs 16 3 it says commit your works to the Lord and your plans will be established pretty cut and dry I mean whatever we do 
we just commit it to the Lord and just say, if this is the right way to go about um, my work, um, lift it up to Him and, and just see how you're, how things are going to pan out. But if we just go into things without um, seeking God and just mentioning it to Him and, and always be ready for the Spirit to say something or lead you down the way, um, then things might not pan out. Uh, we read about that in the book of Acts. You know, Paul was wanting to go this way uh, on one of his missions, and the Spirit told him, "No, it's not not the right time for you to go down there." And he acknowledged that, and he didn't fight that. Um, so there's sometimes for myself, and I know it happens to you guys too, that if something doesn't feel right, you pray about it, and God's going to say, you know, it's just not the right time. It's there for you, but my child, not not right now. You get too much things going on. There's another area we got to deal with in your life, and let's try and concentrate on that. If we can, can have more faith uh, and trust in me in that area, and try and balance things out. And maybe in this area right now, it's not just good for you right now. Um, and then the second verse we had was Proverbs 21, verse 5. The plans of the diligent lead, to, lead surely to advantage. Uh, but everyone who is hasty comes surely to poverty. Um, and whatever we want to pursue, we, we've got to do our part. Yeah, we've got to do all the gathering of information, how do we go about things, learning how to do it correctly. Um, but God wants to see you also include Him in all of that. I mean, we've got to do some things on our own. We've got to pick the right things. We've got to make sure it's the right way. Uh, and then the Spirit's, you know, leading us. And God is ahead of us trying to move us in the right direction. You know, and we've always, we've all did it in the past. I mean, if you think about a car, um, we just jump in for something that, that looks good. You know, we jump in, we buy it, and then later on down the road, we find out there's mechanical issues, there's, you know, big payments. Uh, there's just something that we didn't think about or include God in this decision-making. Uh, that later has consequence down the road. But if we do our work, hey, is it within my wheelhouse to have this car? Maybe it's not this car that I like, uh, but there's another car that you come across that's well in your, what you're making, I get you to it from work, it's a good car. Hey, it's doing the same thing, um, but we as humans, we want something that's looks nice that you know got all the bells and whistles but God saying well you know you go ahead and make that decision I, I can't stop you but this is what you know it's not in your means for the type of job or type of money you're bringing in but you know you're going to learn on your own so you go and get it next thing you know um, you know, you get problems financially, and then next thing you know, you're either selling a car or truck or whatever it was, and then you go back to the car that kind of God will lead you that way. It's still there on the lot, so you buy it for a whole lot less. It still gets you to work. Um, so that kind of deal, it, it all plays into uh, everything we do, um, including God um, in whatever we do. Uh, just spending time with him. Uh, yesterday I also mentioned that you know my life verse that my it comes out of the book of Proverbs and it talks about that. Proverbs chapter three verse five and six. We have to do our part with God in order for him to do his part with us. Uh, in verse five it says we gotta trust him with all his heart. Um, that means in every area. It's a struggle. It's not simple for anyone. Um, but we got to constantly work at it. It's, 
It's a relationship. It's probably one of the most important relationships we're going to have in our life is our relationship with God. If we don't work at it, nurture it, trust Him, um, then all other things are going to really fall by the wayside. Uh, then we will find ourselves doing things on our own, um, which is the second thing. It says don't lead on your own understanding. There's a lot of things that we put God on the side and say, you know, it's not happening as quick as I thought He'd help me out with. So, I, you know, I'm going to just put you on a back burner and I'll, I'll take over from here. God, I got it. And then we end up digging a big hole. Um, and then another thing is in verse 6, it says, uh, in all our ways, we got to acknowledge Him. That means every part of our life. Um, and that's a hard thing to do. And God's saying, if you don't acknowledge me in this part of your life, um, how can you acknowledge me in this part? It all works hand in hand. Um, and those first three things we just talked about is on us. If we can somehow get all of those things working uh, in the right direction, which is towards God, uh, then He's going to do His part. He said, then He will make our path straight. Whatever it is, He might give us an opportunity in our business, in our hobby, or whatever it is. Um, and then we got to just acknowledge Him. Um, we didn't get there on our own. So, it's a two-way street. Uh, that's, the, that's the line. I talked about a delicate line of what we have to do and what... God is going to show up and He's going to do. We don't have to worry about God. He's going to show up. But in those two verses, He didn't give us a time frame. He didn't say, oh, if, as soon as you start trusting, the next day I won't let everything happen the way you want. No, He doesn't say that. So um, we just got to continue to trust Him in whatever we pursue. Um, and if it's down the wrong road and it doesn't open up the door, then we just got to keep praying to Him and looking for opportunities that He gives us. Um, and we have to do all our part. Is it financially reasonable for me? Or is this going to affect another area of my life if I continue to pursue this? Maybe not now. Let me get this in balance, balance everything out. And maybe things might work out. But for now, I'm just going to trust in God. Let Him know. Talk to Him. What's going on in my life? Even though He knows everything. He knows more about us than we know about ourselves. But He just wants us to remove whatever we have in our life for daily, for quiet time with Him. Seek Him and just... Talk store, keep talking to him, keep praying. Sometimes it's hard. It's hard to sit and to hold a long prayer with God. Um, it takes work. And if we can get good at that or continuously on just keep doing it that, then maybe we'll find the areas of our life that we've been pursuing that might change. Um, like we said, we got to understand that it's not on our timing, it's on God's timing. So I hope you guys have a blessed week, safe week, be careful out there, um, and have a blessed day. Aloha.